Hello everybody, Frankie Day here for Frankie Day Models. Okay fellas, uh, for this gloomy, uh, rainy, Monday afternoon, I have for you video number five on my winter build of the Heller 1100 scale HMS Victory. Okay guys, a lot was going on this kid since the last video was posted. Thus far I've got the Herc, I've got the, um, the Spar Deck completely primed, painted, and washed. I got a wash on it, painted all the gratings. I use oils on this thing, on the decks and everything. Um, of course, on a previous video, I got both lower door and gun decks completely painted and installed with 32 pounders on there. And uh, I checked to make sure everything is fine because, like I say, guys, on those on Ford chip with those beams right there are deck supports, but the decks lay on flat. So, like I say, those they're, they're a must. You got to have them on there. Because you just can't rely on, because what makes it so bad is that the deck is is completely, uh, it's there in halves. The lower, the lower the, all the decks except the main the main weather deck, because they're all they're all in halves, and they it, it, they'll sag like this. If those if those beams go across the thwart ship, go across your your hull, and set your beams on there to make sure that they're secured very well. The plastic ones will do, and they're good. But they can be better. Take measurements off the plastic ones and transfer on wooden ones. Use 316 square basswood for that. I should have done that on this, but I went ahead and trust the kit. If I ever build the same game, which I thought it will, I'll never do that method again. See, I'm, I'm learning also on this thing on mistakes. Although I built one before on this, but like I said, you learn to go along. Okay, before we uh, in view, as you can see, how much I got I got done on this thing. I got the weather deck on here. I mean the, the spar deck or the punishment deck, we call it. I got the bollards. Also, they got the uh, the the uh, the pen rails have been installed and painted. Also, they've been painted uh, orc, orca color, o okra, ochre color. And, uh, of course, below on the gun decks, on the bulkheads, is all painted red. And, uh, when I started painting this thing, I painted this thing using ochre color and also black. And, uh, the victory, I guess, has been, I did some research. I should have seen that before I started painting the ochre on this here because the ochre looks like it's a little lighter than this almost like a pink when the light gets it all those in a way i could have put some white into it i didn't know that i just trust this stuff Humbro. number color number 83 fellas is ochre color now the humbro and the oils and the and the uh, and the spirit is darker Real dark, almost like a dark tan. Didn't look right. This looks pretty close to what I need. So I use this on here. It's ochre, fellas. It looks like it's kind of like a chartreuse color in a way from the way that it's hitting it. But the light hits it in a special way, you know, a special natural light. Or even when you get close to it, like I'm right now, you can see it's ochre. It's ochre, trust me. Okay. I inspect the two lower gun decks, make sure the cannons are in place instantly. I've got to mention on video number four, the installation of the cannons. I did not use ACC. I did not use this stuff. And I most certainly did not use this. I used five minutes of epoxy. I whipped up, uh, uh, no, I got, to, it was 15 minutes of epoxy. I got to give me that working time. I up a batch, glued underneath the trunnions of the gun cartridges. Put them on the gun decks, they all come out. I learned that lesson from the last one I built when I trusted this stuff. This cryolite glue. I thought that really do the job. Before we, uh, there's things in this kit I'd like to point out to you fellas on this build right here. On this model here, anybody who's built this before understands where I'm coming from. And those of you don't, those of you don't could probably benefit from what I have to say about the kit. The kit in general is a wonderful kit. It really is, guys. It's a museum piece. It'll stand up against any 
any wooden uh, expensive kit that is out there in the market, like Holy Crap, the Army, uh, and all these other uh, Doug Ducks, and he, whatever you call it. I can't excuse my language, but I don't mean to pronounce it wrong. But you know what I'm saying? That these big expensive market kits made out of wood. And they too are museum pieces of wood that they can be displayed at any museum. But this thing will stand up next to it just as well if it was built right and built correctly. And I like to make a technical note for those that have not experienced building to the hell of 100 scale HMS Victory, also the Soy Royale, and the rest of the uh, of the of the plastic line of kits that they made, well, like 150 scales, 1400 and stuff. One thing about this Heller I don't like about the company. The kit is 100% beautiful. I love it. I love it. They've done their homework on this thing. And they know what they did. Everything is true to scale. The detail is that the, of the real vessel. It's the plastic. I do not like the plastic in it. It's, it's almost like resin. You start fooling around with these sprues here. You got these sprues. Here, they gave me the kit. You got all those parts, especially you got your hammock rails, the U shape, and they glue right on top of the freeboard of your well deck. That's when they that's when you have airing and bedding. All the crew members come down below and they take their hammocks and they trice them up, they fold they fold them up and make shift on them, and they store them very nicely. They make good barricades too, in case in case in case with splinters too and stuff like that. They ever go in combat. They always trice their bunks up on top of here. Those pieces of plastic out there are, are, are U-shaped. You take your knife, you hit them wrong way, they'll break right on you. So what you gotta do is make them out of wire. They're very easy to make. You can make yourself a, a, a some kind of a jig, a forming jig. Preferably metal or hard plastic. Get yourself some good wire and bend a U shape on there, the same dimensions, and ACC them on there. Plastic ones are good, but beware, they will break. Here's another most important thing that there is. A lot of you are going to be handling this thing. It's big. Okay, got the got the starboard side looking at me right now. I want to get to the port side. A lot of people grab this way. The HMS Victory, with all these cannons protruding outside the hull, with the shutter bays open, or they stick out. They're obstacles. They stick out. And they're very easy to break. If you got them in a stowed position, pulled all the way back, triced out and seized, away from there with the shutter bays closed, that's a whole different situation in handling this thing. But in general, is the best way to handle this, this ship is grab the underbelly like this and pick it up and move it around. You can't go like this. You go like this, you're going to. If you grasp like this, like how my hands are posed right now, you push those cannons inside that lower gun deck, you're hurting. You'll never get that cannon to that port again. I guarantee you won't. I know. It happened to me 20 times on the old one I used to have. It happened to me twice on this one. Thank God I glued three of them down using ACC and I popped them off. I cleaned up the ACC off the trunnions, whipped me up some 15 minute epoxy, and I glued them all on that gun deck right there. And those cartridges ain't going nowhere. Ain't going nowhere. So all that paint work on these cannons, you will not be seen because they're sticking out the gun ports. And uh, if, you, if you stick real close to it, look at it in view, you may be able to see the cartridges in there. But please be careful, guys, with handling this thing. The only way, Frankie Day's way, is this way. Get yourself a beautiful stand like a beautiful piece of wood like I got here. Now the kindness and the engineering of, of uh, Heller when they designed this kit on the display stands, you'll notice right here. Right over here. There's four holes per base to hold this model up. Find the center line from here to the outside and also from the end of these boards. Trace out your holes. Make a pilot hole, drill a hole, and run some countersink screws. Very small. It's probably about a half inch. 
depends on how thick your your display what your wood is. Your display uh, base. And once this thing is anchored up, once this thing is anchored on there, I mean, uh, it ain't going nowhere. You want to you want to work on this thing? Just pick up the board and turn it around. But don't slam it down. Just lay it down very gingerly. You slam it down, vibration can loosen up those cannons. This thing is very fragile. It won't take much to break this thing, but it's very strong too. And uh, I've got the stern galleries. See, it's so easy. Pick this thing up. Get my coffee out of the way before I have an accident. I got the stern. Where the hell God trail going? You got excuse me, fellas. I'm getting kind of reverend backwards right here. I have closer going this way than the other way. I got to turn 360 degrees, and I don't have to do that. I can just go like this. I got the stern galleries in, as you can see. It took a long, long, long time, guys, to make these stern galleries. I got them all done. I used magnifiers. I got this all painted back through here. One thing I like about this base, I get up closer like that. Yeah, there you go. I can pick this thing up again right now. I got the chance. You can see the, the, the sheet on there. I got the, the, the glass on there the, on the inside. You get a real fine brush for the ornament out there. I got the English flags painted on there. The victories on there. Alex from Alex Modeling is building one of these too. He's got a very, very handsome uh, fitting set. The gentleman that gave him the kit. Now, incidentally, uh, another technical note, too. Well, the kit that Alex is building is the same kit that I had before took out broken. I got a Phoenix Models for $99.99, I think it was. And uh, I bought that back in, what, 1994, 95, somewhere around there. And uh, also, that's the same boxing, I'm trying to say. The kit's the same. It's the same boxing. But this thing is all out. If you want to really put some money into this thing, they've got the uh, they got wooden decks that, that are made especially for this kit here, and well, and uh, that probably cost you a couple hundred dollars, maybe perhaps less. I don't know, but I know one thing: it's over a hundred bucks. Uh, this I do know. And they got the photo set that what Alex has on the photo set that he has is uh, it's very beautiful. It's well, it's it's inside of an, an album jacket, neatly neatly uh, stored in each page is like a return. He's got a lot of work ahead. He's got Alex has a lot of work ahead. Of this thing, this thing here is not built overnight. I've been on this thing now for uh, I think about ten days straight now, not stopping. No fooling. Ten days straight. Also, um, yeah, I got that. The stern yard is all done. I got the great cabin done and everything in there. It's kind of really nice, guys. I'm very happy with this thing. If you're working this thing every day, working four, maybe five, six hours a day, and that's it. You got this thing done in about five months. Four or five months. If you're really fast, like old Frankie Day is, which I, I'm slowing down now. I think it ain't no sense of slowing uh, damn, damn torpedoes at full speed ahead. I take my time, this bad boy. I look over the kit every time I get done working on it. I light my venture cigar. I'll sit here and just pour over, over the details and thing and see if I made any boo-boos or they have any holidays that didn't touch up with paint. And believe you me, I do see them and I do fix them right on the spot before I go any further. Galleries go on very easy without ease, no problem at all. Now, the other thing, too, you can be very careful on these side galleries right here. Well, on, this, on these galleries here, on the side galleries here, this piece right here, the ornament piece here, it's stuck on a piece of sprue right there. So be sure to take that off there before you do that. Otherwise, it'll hang out low like that. And you'll say, how the hell does this piece go? It don't. It, that's got to be removed from this gallery here. And it fits on its own flush underneath it, tucked under.
This is a good kick, guys. I'm really taking my time on this thing. I'm breaking out parts. I had to repair about four or five parts that got broke inside the kit. So, like I say, you got to be very careful because those parts, sometimes they got parts in there that run wild in there, you know, and they break very easy during shipping or handling, you know. And this kit was brand new. It was sealed. It was sealed in a box because I bought this thing at, a, at that garage sale that guy had. And uh, whoever had this for ideas, I was like, you know, I'll, I'll do it justice for him. I kind of felt really bad about buying another man's stuff, especially going through a hairy divorce. You know, I didn't know that until I bought it. You know, I was like, oh, Lord. She goes, I'm selling all his things. I gave him time to get out of here. I don't want these things right here. Look, you have it 50 bucks. It's okay. Beautiful. Yeah. Those are those stories, fellas. But right now, we're in the modeling category now. <laughs> no Jerry Springer on here. <laughs> Anyway, this is a nice kit. You got your stash. This make a very beautiful kit to build. I'm not going to bail out of this thing, boys. This is going to be a full build. And uh, I'll get it done. I'm going to get on that Lafayette right there, the La Hormone. I'm going to get that thing going. And... Uh, And go to something else, I guess. Probably stay in ship models for a long time. But I got a dandy the spot where to put this at. And uh, it'll be out of harm's way. It won't get broken. But I'm going to make a full build out of this. And I'm going to and uh, I'll try to do a good job on this thing. Maybe you maybe guys can build along with me on this thing. I'll have some live action footage coming up your way too on this thing. I'm going to have live action going on tonight. I think I probably will. But this is a nice kit, guys. Like I say, just please be careful. When you handle this thing, watch out for these cannons. The cannons are installed here already. They're sticking out. They're sticking out like like, like, like a sore thumb. They're, they're out, boys. They're out. I got a lot of stuff doing this thing. I got those stanches to be put in board, in board above the, uh, the, the hatchways and the gratings. That holds up the weather deck, and uh, I got a lot of fittings. I got a pen. I got uh, I got night heads put up here in front of the bow with the bow spit heads up against. That's gonna be painted. I got super structures back here, and I got to whip up a mixture of M2, which is uh, this color right here, which is this color back over in here. Flat white, a little bit of green. And don't overdo the green, just a dab. The main thing is turn that thing into like a chiffon green color. And uh, airbrush, a brush. The seal structure's out, install same. Have all your inboard stanchions done. Have all, before you do anything, when well, that's all done, I got rigging to do. I got sail vanes, I got the rig up. And they fit right inside these chocks right inside here. These, these are called chocks. And the sailors down below, they can pull the sail in and seize it over here and make make, make seizing on the uh, chocks here on the gun deck. Now, if this be covered, it'd be like the rest of the gun decks below it. So I got 24 pounders that I gotta I gotta do too. They all been painted, primed. And the uh, ready for installation. I got to install those, and when everything else is done, before I put the last uh, the last deck on the weather deck on top of there. So um, you take your time. This thing comes out very, very well. These are very fragile too. These bollards. You gotta watch out though. They're strong. Very strong. But you put it upside down, you're going like you put your strength to it or something like that. Get a little rough, they'll break, so you can be careful. Fortunately, I didn't break any of the last model, I did not break any on this one. So, you get those cannons installed, use epoxy, fellas. Use epoxy. They won't go nowhere. Like I say, you handle this thing, like I say, grab it underneath the middle, not like this, under the middle. Not like this, because that rudder, you mess that rudder, 
and go ahead and get some bake water. You got to watch out for that. Well, like I say, what I do is early in the video is secure this model on the uh, north base, like right here. Then you can pick up the whole base and turn it around. Easy as pie, no fuss. Okay, time for you to get out of here, fellas. I've been on here for a little bit here. And I uh, probably have a live action going on tonight. On the victory, of course. Uh, Bruce Kerr, a mystic ship modeler. Um, saying, where is that Goat's Forge at, Frank? I'll be bringing that up. That may be live action going on live. We use the Goat's Forge. I think he'd be here like that. I think that's a good idea. I think I'll bring the Goat's Forge out tonight. And uh, why well, I have to work on this today, I can put it aside and draw bring out the Gorge Forge and come out and start doing some work on it. That's a rough kit that Gorge Forge is. I mean, I don't like the shrouds in it and everything. It's, I'm just going to build it out of the box, guys. And I'll do good on it. And you'll see it tonight on the live action. So I'll have, I'll have that going. Well, that's about all I can say about as much you got going on in the victory. Other than I got the butter installed. It's a touch up painting. I always touch up painting this thing all the time. Because, like I say, guys, if you're on this thing three or four hours, five hours or so, you know, your eyeballs get a little tired and they start playing tricks on you. The next day, you got a fresh set of eyeballs. You look at your work and figure out where you left off at. And you see, well, how in the hell I leave that like that? Then you gotta come back and touch other things. See what I'm saying? You always gotta keep gawking over your work. Get those holidays out of there. Okay. That's about it for today. This is conclusion of video five for the Heller 1100 scale HMS victory. There's a lot out there, fellas, the internet. There's a lot out there on this ship. And, uh,. A great food of thought for all you victory builders. And Lord Horatio Nelson will be very, very proud to see everybody have a bottle of his ship on there and their home. Knowing he's been loved and well respected. And uh, there's nobody in the world like Lord Nelson. Lord Nelson was a, was a very brilliant man. He listened first now, loved him very much just as much as the fellow officers. He was very introverted, uh, Horatio Nelson was. He would talk to Link, to any seaman, and listen to what he has to say and things like that. And everybody would, uh, he would, uh, he would gather and discern things. And, you know, he'd consider things too as well. The man was a strategist, he was beautiful. He's beautiful. The man was great. I honor this gentleman. Okay, I honor you guys too. I'd like to thank all my new subscribers for subscribing. Bruce, if you're watching this video, stay up at night, make yourself a snack, old buddy. And so I got the Gorge Sports going on for you tonight for the uh, live action with Frankie Day. Okay, uh, so stay posted for that, fellas. I got that going for you tonight. All right, this is the conclusion of video five, and uh, make mama happy. Take care of little ones. Beware your surroundings. Spend wisely. Stay focused when you're driving. Buy yourself a kit. Buy yourself a model. It's getting cold outside. The weather is going to be here in no time. So nothing says loving than staying home in a nice warm house after toiling all day and building a model. Make sure the families take care of first. That way you have time for yourself and no one complains. That's how Frankie Day, Frankie Day does it. Okay, this is Frankie Day for Frankie Day Models. I'd like to thank everybody again, especially all my new subscribers for tuning in. God bless you guys. I love you guys very much. And you guys take care of yourselves. And stay posted tonight for live action with me and the Ravel Gorsforge. The scale of 1150. So I have that coming your way tonight, guys. So stay posted for that. This is Frankie Day, Frankie Day Model signing off. You guys take care of yourself, fellas, and, and uh, God bless you guys.